What's up? Welcome to your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Monday. Let's kick the week off right. April 15, 2024. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Enjoyed the spring game on Saturday. Hope you watched some of the Masters all week long. Um, could have been better. My bets didn't go so well, but anyways. Um, hey, hope you enjoyed the spring game. It's going to be the last Buckeye football tidbit for a while. Uh, unfortunately, we won't see him on the field till fall. Um, who knows when we're going to hear from Ryan Day again, so it could be months. Uh, but anyways, I will be here talking Buckeye football and uh, doing our, our daily blitz. We'll probably take some time off of the Sunday night show. Me, Jeff, and Sean will probably take a couple weeks off uh, in the future. Um so we had a good show last night, but anyway, um, yeah, going forward, we're probably, you know, May, June, kind of quiet months, you know, um, coming up, we will have a lot of portal talk guys coming and going. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be back next Sunday for sure. But anyway, today we're talking about the QB competition. It's the most important position on the field and the most important competition in this uh, 2024 season as we get geared up. So uh, in the spring game, Buckeyes played all five scholarship quarterbacks uh, on Saturday, uh, and Ryan Day still isn't ready to name a starter yet. Um, so this is a, another uh, two years in a row now. We've got a QB competition. You've got the 2023 backup, Devin Brown, the K-State transfer, Will Howard, redshirt freshman, Lincoln Keenholz, True freshman Aaron Nolan, and then the Alabama Alabama <laughs> Alabama transfer slash true freshman uh, Julian Sand. So um, they all combined for forty completions on sixty three attempts. It's a pretty good average. Uh, Three hundred seventy three yards, touchdown, but also threw four picks on Saturday. Ryan Day said afterward, "Quote: I wouldn't say that I'm going to make any declarations right now." We'll look at the film and then see what it looks like and then decide where to go from there. But I don't have much to say about it right now. Obviously, Ryan Day is not going to force it. Um, and new offensive coordinator Chip Kelly was brought in to decide the best quarterback. Uh, he's been a part of a, a ton of quarterback competitions. You know, I, he uh, he had Heisman Trophy, Trophy winner Marcus Mariota. Um, then he also um, he coached five star recruit and tenth overall pick Josh Rosen at UCLA. Remember that? Uh, but Kelly said that uh, Ohio State's coaches will look at all fifteen practices this spring and evaluate every rep. He said the spring game played a valuable part in planning the next steps, though. Uh, Kelly said, "Quote: I think this day is a big part of it because it was the first time I ever got to play some of those." guys ever got to play in front of a crowd and it was an amazing crowd you get eighty thousand people for a spring game now you get to see some of the young guys kind of look around like wow this is different than the indoor oh well, he continued on uh, but that's why they have to get ready to play what they have to get ready to play in so we got to get better from practice one to practice 15. it's still an evaluation through the whole process but it's not something, and the players know know it too, that we're making a decision walking off the field today, saying this is the direction we're going in. We'll be very authentic and look through everything and make sure that we get a really good feel for what it looks like and then who will who will best move this offense. Long one there, she said. Hey, uh, anyways, uh, the portal opens uh, Tuesday. On my birthday, actually. So we're losing Dallin Hayden on my birthday. Thanks, Dallin. Appreciate that. Anyways, um, it's open till April 30th. So you got a solid two weeks there. And it's time at all programs to have those difficult conversations, right? Uh, to really lay out where each player is, you know, on the roster. Uh, Ryan Day and Chip Kelly will meet with the quarterbacks during their position meetings. Uh, Kelly said Ohio State's coaching staff will give them our assessment so they can understand where they fit in and what the picture looks like. Um, the decision about a starter need 
uh, naming a starter is still well down the road. That this, the timeline is not is not in a rush, in a hurry, or on a short uh, time frame here. So. Chip Kelly said, uh, quote, you always want to do it earlier, but I also believe every time I've been involved in this, that it kind of happens organically and authentically because the players know. And if you say, hey, we decided we're going to go, we're going to be with Joe, and they think that it's Tim, they know. Those are made up words, made up names, I mean. Uh, they're in the locker room with them every day. Players understand who they feel is the the guy and most of the time the decision is very obvious and you just say hey this is where we are but there's that timetable thing i can't give you an exact timetable on that so some good info there from uh chip kelly now in in the spring game you had will howard he was eight of 12 for 61 yards then you had a uh, third year guy Devin brown uh, six of eight for 84 yards, also had an 11 yard touchdown pass to walk on Brendan Schramm. Uh, true freshman Julian Sam was nine of 15 for 74 yards and a pick. And Lincoln Keenholz was 10 of 16 for 72 yards, two picks. And Aaron Nolan played only in the second half. Uh, he was six of eight for 51 and a pick. So I, uh, you can, I mean, you can, it's just, pretty plain as day the guys with the picks obviously are the younger guys i mean and inexperienced so uh, they'll learn i mean you got to make mistakes in order to learn from them and move forward and get better but um so howard took the first snaps of the game and then brown followed neither one of them played in the second half i think it's telling that will howard is now taking the first reps you know, remember uh, student appreciation scrimmage? Devin Brown took the first reps. Now flip that. Will Howard's taking the first reps. Uh, Ryan Day said Buckeye coaches have planned a, a game strategy to establish confidence in the spring game, and he wanted the players to stretch the field horizontally and vertically more than they did. Uh, he was happy with the play action passes and the check downs that made good yardage. Uh, Ryan Day said, quote, you try to get into a rhythm for them just to get some co completions. <laughs> Sorry. Just to get some completions because it is all happening fast. And that's kind of how it works. When you're doing everything for the first time, there's certainly things that you're learning and you're growing and you just want to make things easy for them. I think he's, I think he's talking about mostly the three younger guys. Um, but Day is dead set on using the quarterback's mobility in this season. So he, Ryan Day said that the uh, quarterback run is going to be a weapon for us this year uh, since all of our quarterbacks are athletic enough to do that. Those are quotes. Uh, last season, Kyle McCord ran 32 times for a loss of for negative 65 yards. Yeah, that includes sacks, though. I mean, he was a sack machine. Um Brown scrambled for 23 yards on 22 carries last year. So just illustrating the need for mobility, and Ryan Day knew it last year. So Ryan Day uh, knows the opposition plans to eliminate aspects of Ohio State's offense, offense, which can be explosive when it's firing on all cylinders. So quarterback has to be on his toes, using his legs, and uh, create avenues for the Buckeyes to exploit. Uh, Day said, quote, I think it's the thing here right now is if you feel like if you can stop the running game, you feel like you're gonna, going to do a pretty good job. If you feel like you can pass on our DBs, you're, going, you're doing a pretty good job. If you feel like you can cover some of our receivers, you know you're, do, you're doing a good job. So this is back and forth on a daily basis, and it's great competition individually going against really good players, but also against a great unit on defense and a great unit on offense. Talking about practice there. What are we talking about? Practice? Um, not the games. Uh, sorry, I had to. Uh, Day's fourth quarterback competition in six seasons at Ohio State this year. Uh, Chip Kelly felt that Ohio State distributed the QB reps well during the spring game. He said they capitalized on them. And there's a long summer ahead, and Chip Kelly said they're all competing for it. Uh, to finish up here, Chip Kelly said, quote, we really rolled them. 
Uh, if you were over at some of our practices, you were watching all those guys rotate in, rotate out. And as we talk about all the time, you know, the old adage is don't count your reps, make your reps count. Interesting saying, burn that into a piece of wood. He continued on and we'll put it all together and, and really come up with which guy do we really feel is going to help us move this offense. So, and it, you know, in my opinion, from what it sounds like, um, Howard really shows his experience, you know. He, maybe he's not quite as accurate as you would like, but um, it, it sounds like all signs are kind of pointing towards Howard without anybody actually saying it yet. At least that's how I read the situation. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. You think uh, – Chip Kelly and Ryan Day are leaning towards Howard or, or Devin Brown. Um, so I got for you today. Talk to you tomorrow. Go Bucks.